from religion and politics to weddings and vacations, the baby boomer generation has shaped the way Americans have lived for decades. Now this generation of 76 million people is reshaping America's so-called death care industry. Billing Tan looks at how this $15 billion business is evolving. Established in 1849, the Sleepy Hollow Cemetery in upstate New York is a historic landmark and resting place of famous Americans, including Standard Oil co-founder William Rockefeller and members of his family. Their remains lying in this massive, custom-designed granite mausoleum. The Rockefellers are among some 45,000 interments in this sprawling 36-hectare cemetery complex, most of them buried in the traditional manner using embalming caskets and vaults. But five years ago, the cemetery set aside about a tenth of a hectare for a different type of burial, one that puts the body quite literally back into the earth. Yes, the natural or green burial is making a comeback. It's actually a return to the way things used to be. Prior to the Civil War, there was no embalming. But, um, you know, families wanted to have their boys returned home from the front. So embalming came into being. And it is um, falling out of favor, if you will. People who select a green burial are actually comforted by the idea that they will return to the earth from which they came. Amy Cunningham is a funeral director in Brooklyn, a baby boomer, and an advocate of green burials. This wicker, uh, for instance, is all uh, biodegradable. She says interest for this alternative has come from people of varying religions and backgrounds, from Quakers to Protestants to Buddhist Americans, people who want to be organic in life and in death. I think as they age and as they die, a uh, green burial in this country will be business as usual. The interest in green or eco burials is being partly driven by an aging baby boomer population, many of whom are more eco-conscious but also interested in a more personalized arrangement. But there is another upside, cost. By doing away with caskets and embalming, green burials can often be less expensive than traditional burial options. From the casket to the memorial service, the disposition of remains to the headstone, costs for a traditional funeral can be upwards of $7,000, according to the National Funeral Directors Association. Cost is also driving another trend in the industry. It's called pre-funding, where some individuals want to take care of their own funeral arrangements, including the payments. Certain people want that financial component of their funeral expense to not fall on other family members, so they want that peace of mind of knowing they've done that. Cremation is also a major trend, one that the NFDA says is driven by both consumer preference and economics, which impacts the industry's bottom line. As we deal with those new services that involve cremation and perhaps a memorial service, we are always um, looking for ways to to balance that from an economic perspective because, in all fairness, funeral homes are businesses. The NFDA says business nationwide has grown by a billion dollars every five years over the past decade and is poised to spike as the aging baby boomer generation leaves its legacy. Li Ling Tan, CCTV, New York.